So you think you can take good photos with your phone? Welcome to the world of professional photography. This is Founders Connect Africa. Hey, Sasa. Sorry, man, been Good busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's been so hard to find you. Yeah, yeah finally, I'm here. Yes, yes. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start from the beginning. Did you always want to be a photographer when you were young? No, 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 no. Yes. I, I, I thought I'd been filmed, though. I thought I'd been filmed. Uh, I thought I'd, I'd do stuff for TV. First of all, do you know film and photography for people who are not in that is the same kind of the same thing? Cameraman, you know they call it cameraman. In in shags, always people always have this camera person. Muhuri wabisa. Muhuri wabisa. Cameraman and, yeah. and and yeah. So it's I don't think it's a difference when you say film and photography, but you can tell us more. Oh yeah. So I mean, so the the, the uh, photography is you know take one shot here. Yeah. Film, you know, it's continuous frames, yeah. uh, probably telling a, a different story or the same story. Yeah, so I, I, I don't think uh, there's, there's um, quite a bit of a difference, if you ask me. But I mean, it depends with semantics and who you're asking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so when did you understand the fact that you loved photography? Because there's film and there's photography and there's loving the camera. When you first got your first camera, what, what happened? Oh yeah, so the, the first camera I thought I would get, I was ripped off. Yeah, so Wait, yeah, so I got this guy who was going to the States. I tell him, man. By then, my friends, uh, some of my close friends were taking uh, were photographers. So Mutua Mateka, Mwangi Kirubi, Njeri Ngige, uh, yeah, Kevin Japicha. So they, they had formed this collective of uh, photographers that was called One Touch. So I really, really wanted to go with them. But uh, my friend Jerry told me, mm, you can come, but it will be useless if you don't have a camera. Yeah. So I thought, okay, maybe let me get a camera. So I got this guy who was going to the States. I tell him, uh, you know, I'm looking for a camera. I'm like, hey, Bana, you just give me the cash. You know, I'll go, when I come back, I'll get uh, you the camera. And it was a really high-end camera. Uh, let's just see that uh, I never got the camera. And, and I never got, sure. yeah. Uh, <laughs> which was interesting, you know, trying to follow up on the money, I'm but so it didn't work. So say maybe about two or three years later, I was bold enough to, you know, agree to take a dent and buy my first camera. Uh, so I remember it was, um, it was on a Saturday. I was just coming from uh, BSF Bible study. Uh, I just got one of my friends and told him, uh, let's go to town around to buy a camera. So we went to Jamia Mall, went through the... Uh, the whole situation. Yeah, went yeah. to Cameras Kenya, looked at the cameras. Uh, finally, I settled on a 60D, and that was my first, uh, my first. Your camera. first camera. Yeah. Okay. So before you loved the camera, were you doing any photography before? No. So I, I was in the advertising space. You know. I'm, advertising. Yeah, I've been uh, been uh, an agency guy for <laughs> for it's some better, time. Yeah. yeah. So uh, of course, you know, working in agency, you you know, you need this image to go here. You need that image to go there. So you'd interact with quite a, a bit of photographers. So there was uh, people like uh, Leon Malu, who I thought was a good really photographer. Um, Arnold Lakita, I think, was shooting then. Um, quite a few guys. But then at that time, uh, Osborne Masharia was just, you know, budding. Yeah. Uh, and of course, I can have to Mateka, Thandiwe Moreu. Um, so those, those, Patricia Kioro. She's a photographer? Yeah, yeah, badass, pretty badass. Like I am one sure, of the, I thought she was a singer. She's something. one of Kenya's pioneer street photographers. She's so good, you should see her work. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so, so those are the people I'd see doing photography and I'm like, hey, maybe, I don't know if I can hack that shot, but maybe, maybe I, I like photography. Maybe I like the, but also. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah. but for, uh, cameras then were, were, were expensive. Uh, but accessible. So the people who, are, who are, had access to cameras would do quite a bit of, okay. of photography. Yeah. Okay. So when, when you sleep at night, what products do you want to do photography for? Oh, no, I'm, I'm absolutely like, in love with, uh, with, uh, with the Diageo brand. Diageo brand? Are you <laughs> yeah. doing a bit in Kenya? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a bit. Uh, uh, so early this year I was able to shoot for White Cup. 
uh, which is uh, a legacy a brand, brand at, at, uh, at uh, EABL, Diageo. Uh, been also able to shoot for Gilby's and Gordon's Gin, yeah. uh, you know, creating uh, liquid credentials for them. Uh, looking to also expand that portfolio, you know, maybe shoot for bigger, bigger brands within and outside. So my, my aim, my goal is probably to be the, the best uh, product photographer in the world in the next couple of years. Yeah, so my, um, I'm dedicating full energy. energy. Well, well, not full, 50% <laughs> of my energy yeah. uh, to that. Okay, so um, there are people here who take selfies. Um, and they think that they are great photographers, you know. I love taking selfies, I take selfies all the time. But what does it take to join and to be paid to take photos? All right, so the, I'll, I'll debunk one myth. There's nothing like a bad photo. Yeah? My director should have a Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> There's absolutely nothing like a bad photo. Yeah. The only bad photo, and that's my, my theory and belief, is getting a photo you did not intend to get. Yeah. yeah. So if you if you are going for a sad face, a sad face, yeah. and you get you got a, 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 happy a happy face that you like, oh, this is really good. <laughs> I mean, that, for me, that will it, it's a good photo. You can use it, but that wasn't the intention. So for me, my, the intention really has to be at the forefront. Mm -hmm. So when you're taking selfies and you think you're taking uh, good photos, you really are taking good photos mm -hmm. if you like them and you know, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. If you want to break into the industry, though, it's a, it's a totally different ball game. Tell us, tell us about the ball game. Uh, so you, to be a, to be a commercial uh, okay. photographer, which is what I do, and commercial meaning my, my work is to support commercial processes, yeah, so, should, which is advertising. Take photos. No, I mean, you, you, have, you have wedding photographers, but, uh, you know, you, you don't classify wedding photographers as commercial photographers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so commercial photography really is for the creative uh, communication space. Yeah, so that's the definition. Uh, so if, if, you, if you want to get into the, into the space, uh, you, you have to pay your dues, first of all. Like, like, like everybody has to pay your dues, and your dues is time. It uses workflow, your dues is uh, uh, building a network. Uh, you have to build a brilliant portfolio uh, for you to even think of accessing uh, the space. I'll tell you a short story. I got a call from a friend uh, who works in the agency world as well. She was like, hey, we like your photos. Uh, we have this big client, a big hotel that was setting up in Nairobi, but had branches in Accra, Addis, and, uh, and Cairo. Huge like, access. Yeah, and I was like, hey, brilliant, yes, we yes. are rolling with the shoes, a walk with a dab. <laughs> eh? <laughs> so, so they, we, you know, we spoke about it, they'd seen my work and they liked it. After we'd agreed over everything, we were sure, you know, we are sending our passports for visas and things like that. She said, oh, by the way, please send us your portfolio. So, I, I, you know, I, I mash up a few photos, I put them in a portfolio, I send, and she calls me back and she's like, hey, what are you doing? What like, is this? Like, yeah, you me. <laughs> like, and you know, we we agreed the cost. The client was game. Okay with everything. Yeah. So, so then because because I'd been taking wedding photos, yeah. my portfolio had Njai over here, Mokimo <laughs> over there, a hanging spoon <laughs> over here. Um, but that's that that and and they were good photos. They really were. But you know, that's not for the commercial space. Yeah. So she calls me back and she tells me, we like your work but this, this portfolio cannot go for commercial work. So you have a, about a week to give us a good portfolio for food. So uh, what did you do? So I cried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, a, a, week, a week then for me, right now if you, ask me, if you give me a week to, uh, to, to a build portfolio. a portfolio, that's yeah. a, a walk in the park, literally. Uh, but then I didn't, I didn't know that. So, you know, I, I counted my losses. I was so pissed. I knew I was going to come back and buy a Range Rover. <laughs> like, what? A Defender, actually. A Land Rover Defender 110. I'd even seen it. I was like, hey. Yeah, like, like wow, wow, wow. Uh, so what, what I did, because I, I knew that, that gig had gone. Yeah. So I went home. I, uh, of course, cried. Then I called my friend who works at uh, Sankara Hotel. So I tell her, you know, I'm, I'm trying to build my food photography portfolio. 
is there a possibility I can come maybe buy a meal uh, and then have I shoot yeah. and then, you know. Have it as your portfolio. Yeah, so she's like, oh, no, no, let me, let me talk to the marketing manager. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see uh, what we can do. So I, uh, the person I called was Anita, mm -hmm. Anita Gitonga. Um, then uh, she talked to the marketing manager, Keija. So Keija called me in for a meeting, uh, went with a, a friend who's also a creative. Yeah. Uh, we spoke, uh, we spoke. So, so, so this was just for you to get a good portfolio? So this is this. I, I, I decided that you know, food and uh, and drink it's was good. was it's not good. my forte then, but it was a good lucrative market. Because okay. I was thinking somebody was going to fly me to Addis, yes. then to Cairo, then to, to Accra to take, to take food. Take. You know, I, I was going to my dream destination yeah. <laughs> areas just to take photos at their cost. I'm like, okay, this is probably a space I'd really want to invest in. Yeah. So then uh, we spoke with Keija, who was the marketing, still is the marketing director at uh, Sankara, and she spoke to the chef, and she called me a week later and told me, okay, so we're having a brunch. If you want to take photos, please come, on condition that we use, uh, we, we both own the rights to the photos. Okay. So I check in, I shoot, I shoot, I shoot, I shoot. Uh, it was a Sunday. They were gracious enough, they gave me a, a brunch voucher for me and my family. Yeah. Have gone for that yeah. So we, yeah. So we shoot. I shoot. Then uh, later, when we were calculating, you know, they whipped up food worth almost seventy-five thousand shillings That's just for money. me to build a portfolio. For I'm them. like, wow. Mm. So the, I mean, so that's why I have a soft spot for for some car out here. Okay. Yeah. So then I use that content. I use that um, those uh, images to build a proper commercial portfolio. And you know, that's what really opened the doors for me. Okay, so I want to take photos as I ask, um, as, as we find out yeah. what it takes. What makes money, like in photography? Is it food photography? Whatever space you're in, you can make money. Yeah. The, the thing you don't have a choice on is how good you are at it. <laughs> you need to be good. Yeah, like you, you really, you know what we say that, uh, that nobody will hire you for work you want to do. People will hire you for work they know you can do. Yeah? So if, if you send a portfolio for food, they'll, they'll hire you for food work. What a lot of uh, young photographers, and uh, you know, I was squarely in that category then, is we, we want to shoot everything, and then we, want, we think that we are, we are the ish. Yeah. <laughs> only to come up and realize, you know, yeah. things are, are really crazy. I need you to tell me the products that you have done photography for, the people you've done photography for. Oh, all right, so my, my portfolio is, uh, I mean, right now it's rich. I've shot for Sankara Hotel, I've shot for Intercontinental, I've shot for Golden Tulip and Royal Tulip, I've shot for Five Senses, I've shot for Art Cafe, who <laughs> we've done. The amount of work we've done on Art Cafe is uh, it, it's, it's expansive. Uh, I've shot for, uh, there's a new campaign running by Pride, uh, the detergent. I shot the, the steels, the commercial steels, and I shot the product. Um, Valon, uh, I just recently shot Valon. We've, we've done um, we've done White Cup, we've done uh, Gordon's Jean, we've done Gilby's Jean. I've uh, shot uh, Sikera. Um, I mean, the work is really extensive. Yeah. Who is your client? All right. So you you need to remember that you have a sales process um, as as an entrepreneur. My work is to make the sales process a little bit more easier than if your salesperson just went. So that's why my work must really, really look appealing. You know, if I'm shooting beer, the pour, the, the foam, uh, the bubbling, because I need to really, really convince you before you make the decision. I need to help your sales team make uh, the conversions they need. So if, if you're into, into sales and you need, uh, to, need to make uh, conversions, good photography, and film, you know, if you're, if you're doing a TVC, really goes a long way uh, in, in helping your sales team make those conversions. 
All right, thank you so much. You know, I'm expecting you to send me those photos because this is interesting. But how much is it for an entrepreneur? Is it too costly? These are asked for commercial photography. Um, uh, how long am I on set? Am I on set for, for eight hours or am I on set for half a day? So that's one. Secondly, what am I shooting? Uh, how many products? Um, then uh, am I doing the retouching, the final retouching? And so all those costs go into, into play. You know, with a, with a big agency, what you would uh, do before Corona is you would have a, a producer, then an assistant producer, yeah. then you would have a driver, then you have a... And you, a, you have to account for... You have to have every cost. So you, you, you end up uh, spending 200000 uh, it's crazy. So now what, I, what I've been able to do is I've been able to build a workflow uh, that I can execute from home, which means I've killed all these costs for, yeah. for my clients. Yeah, you know, I, so I don't need a driver. Product, yeah, just send me the product. Uh, all the things, yeah. yeah, like the, the white cup work we did and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Gordon's Jean and Gildis were all shot from the living room. Yeah, and, and they've been flighted. But I'd like to say if you're an entrepreneur and you need some work, Atwezi Kosana Bay. Atwezi Kosana Bay. Atwezi Kosana Bay. Such a good idea. But it's true, it's true, yeah. All right, Karibu Sana. Thank you. You can go back to Ah, Thank you, guys. See you next time on my channel.